Hello everybody, my name is Chris. I'm thinking about running for office myself. I hear a lot of this jabber on Twitter and Facebook about everybody asking everybody should they run for office. Well, if I was in control of the United States of America, not just being a president because I think he's just a spokesperson, all the other people, you know, the legislative and the senators and all them other branches, I think that's the the real people who has control. Well, if I was running for president or even bigger than that, some some if I was a person that made the rules, number one, I would legalize marijuana. Number two, anybody who rapes children gets a mandatory 50 years in prison and their dick and balls cut off. Mandatory. No early release or any of that shit. Okay. Number three, anybody who rapes any woman 18 or older gets a mandatory of 30 years in prison. And also have their cut, also cut their balls and dick off. Yes. Okay. Now, if somebody breaks in somebody's house and steals shit, they get a mandatory 10 years in prison. And one of their fingers chopped off. Now, if somebody was speeding down a highway... I basically just keep that the same. Just give them a ticket. But if they're going 5 or 10 over, I wouldn't even fucking pull them over. Okay. Next topic is, if somebody kills somebody, and it wasn't no other way around it, and you just had to kill them, or it's either you or them... You get off scotch, you, you don't get in trouble. But it's got to be proof and 100% evidence. Yes. But if you kill somebody for no apparent reason, I think you should be killed in the same way. So, you know, after court, right now, don't spend 5, 10 years waiting on a death penalty. However you kill somebody is the way that you should be killed yourself. So, therefore, if you fucking slice somebody's throat and cut their legs off and fucking eat them and shit, somebody should do that to you. I'm sure it's a bunch of knuckleheads in prison. would It would be their honor to fucking eat your damn heart out, okay? Now, for people that beat children and treat their children like shit, they should be removed and hopefully get put in a better home. And the mother or daddy or uncle or whatever who beat the shit out of those children, they should get the shit beat out of. Yes, put them in general population and put a big tattoo on their fucking face saying, I beat children. And leave them in general population. That's one of my ideas on that. I'm free-flowing all these ideas, so I just want y'all to bear with me here. I'm already at 351. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, for people that uh, shoplift at Walmart or CVS or some other fucking store, the Galleria or whatever, you know, if they shoplift like a candy bar or some bullshit like that, something under 10 or 20 or $30, you know, I would just say, fuck it, slap them as hard as I can on their hand and tell them, or just slap them in the face and tell them, look, just don't come back to my store. And that's that. I wouldn't put nobody in jail for some petty fucking shit like that. Alright. Now, for people that steal cars. I think whoever owns the car that these people steal. I think that they should be able to run those people over. Yes. Not kill them, just run over their legs. You know, fuck their legs up, you know. That's where the only thing they'll be stealing in the future is wheelchairs. 
And if they get caught stealing somebody else's wheelchairs, the same will happen. The person who owns the wheelchair that they stole, they get to run over their fucking legs. <coughs> now, uh, alcohol is way worse than marijuana. But it's okay for people to drink alcohol 21 years or older. Also, I would do the same rules. For marijuana, you got to be 21 years or older to smoke marijuana. And I put them in like little uh, sealed packets where if you get caught driving down a road with a sealed, where the seal is broken, you can get like an open package ticket. You know, like an open container. You can get like an open package of marijuana ticket. You know, you know. can you smoke in your yard? Yes. Can you smoke in your house? Fuck yes. But some people can't drive worse shit when they're high. I personally, I can drive really fucking good when I'm high. When I'm drunk, shit. Do not let me behind the steering wheel. I'm liable to hit something. Thank God that I never hit anything. Because I don't drink and drive. I did when I was like 16 and 17 when I was really fucking stupid. But now I don't do that no more. Because that's fucking retarded. For everybody drinking and driving when they get pulled over and they fucking can't even get out of their car. The cops should just beat the shit out of them and fucking run their car in a fucking ditch. And throw them in a fucking tree or some shit. I don't know. And I think the, the government is getting a little too crazy about how long you know people go to jail for crimes you know they need to redo that shit the people that make the rules they need to spend some fucking time in prison and see what it really feels like let me tell y'all a little story i got in trouble for drinking beer in the middle of brantleyville which off way in the woods the nearest house like five or six miles nobody around and they got me with an open container in public intoxication. Okay, they took me to jail. Shelby County Jail, that is. And after I got bonded out for a couple hundred dollars, thank you, Dad, and Mother, it's like, this is what happened. I went to court, and they wanted me to either have 30 days in the county or be on probation for a year. Okay. And I was thinking to myself, well, uh, and plus they wanted me to take drug tests and all that shit for fucking beer. Then they said I can't drink beer for a year, and I'm fucking 34. But then I wasn't 34. I was like 31 or 32. I said, I, I, I didn't say fuck. I didn't talk like that to them. But I told the probation officer after the court when we had our meeting and everything, and when she told me everything I had to do, go to classes like two times a week and shit, and, and I can't drink beer until after a year. I was like, look, just put me in the county for 30. I ain't doing that. So basically, I spent 30 fucking days in a county jail in general population with, a, with some cool people and some really not cool people. Luckily, I got a good cellmate, and that was nice. And I spent 30 days in jail for a public intoxication. That is fucking nuts. Yay. I got to get the fuck out of this state one day. This this place is fucking crazy. Even, even fucking Alabaster isn't even that fucked up. I got a public intoxication charge in Alabaster one time. And, of course, they did take me to jail, and I got bonded out like a couple hours later. And I just had to go to court and pay a fine, and that was it. But Shelby County, like Shelby County, them motherfuckers treats it like I fucking killed somebody or something. I don't understand. That's all of Chris talk. Tune in next time, and I'll bring up more topics that's getting on my nerves. And What do y'all think about the big prince baby that was born they show that on msnbc cnn abc cbs fox for like nine hours straight and they're still talking about it now what a beautiful baby that is, that baby that's just a beautiful baby yeah it's a baby it's, it's a royal baby and I, I know 
I can understand why everybody's going fucking crazy over it, but it is just a baby. Not just a baby, it's a royal baby, a prince. Maybe be a future queen, king later on. But, uh, you know, things just don't make sense, you know. Show the baby for an hour, you know, and, and call it quits and everybody go home and, and, and call it a day. You don't need to have to stand out in front of the hospital even after the baby and everybody's already gone home to chill out. I mean, they stood out there for like four fucking hours just looking at the door thinking somebody else might pop out, you know, that's a part of the royal family but anyway take care this is chris talk yeah that's a stupid name very generic but i'm going with it uh have a good one peace out much love eat your spaghettios eat your lettuce go frogging stop killing so many damn deers but i think we have a large deer population so Kill a few deers, but not all deers. I don't think it's not deer season, but some people still do it. I personally never killed a deer. The only time I killed a deer when I hit a hit a deer in, in when I was driving in my car, and I knocked the shit out of that deer, and also ran over a dog once. It was an accident. It was pouring down rain. And I couldn't see shit, man. And a fucking dog ran right out in front of me. It was either the dog or me run into a tree. So, but um, uh, and tonight I am eating butter beans, homemade of course, and homemade cornbread with some something else. I don't know. And that was brought to you by my mom, Sandra Han. Y'all take care and y'all have a lovely, blessed hump day. Hump day means uh, y'all gets to fucking. Alright, peace out. This is Chris Talk.